Hi. Hi. Um, should you not be bottling up now? No, um, Chaz is doing it this morning. I'm not actually in until 12, which is just as well, because I just didn't sleep well. Oh. Is it morning sickness? Uh, yeah. I'm getting used to it. What didn't help was hearing them two shouting at each other. Oh, yeah, they always seem to be rowing lately. Mm. What are you reading, anyway? Uh, I'm not reading mm -hmm. anything. I was as surprised as you are. Not often I see nose in a book, unless it's full of pictures. No, 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 no. Uh, I, I just picked up and... Becoming home. parents. Oh, no, 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 no. What has become of you? Please tell me you're not about to turn into some new age man. I just thought I ought to understand what you're going through. So, that's why I did it. That is very sweet, but you know I've done all this before. I've not, though. And it's our baby, and I want to be part of it. Hide it, hide it, hide it. <coughs> we were just talking about how peaceful the house is without you two shouting at each other. How come you back so early? Brenda accused me of going on dodgy sites on my laptop. What? Where are you? I was looking at job vacancies, but even when I showed her, she didn't say sorry. She just said I'd been in over an hour of her own coffee. Apparently, I had to buy another to stay. Doesn't normally bother her. Ever since I got out of the nick, people seem to just want to get rid of me. And I couldn't afford more coffee because I'm skinned. Hey, coffee's free here. So, welcome home. How's the job hunting going? Seems like no one wants to employ an ex-con. Look, I know it's hard when you first get out of prison, but... Baby, you're just going to have to keep trying. It's easy for you to say. You had the pub to go to when you got out. Well, so can you. Hey, I can give you some shifts. Mum, that's not what I meant. But you'd be a fool to turn it down. I trained as an electrician. I, I want a job as a spark. Well, you've not got that right now, mate. What you do have is paid bar work, so... This is only because neither of you think I can get a job for myself. Well, I'm going to prove you wrong. You ought to try that new takeaway in Skipdale. They do a lovely bull tea. Mm. Much better than the one in Rubblesfield. Mm. It tastes a bit off. What do you think? Hey, please tell me you changed your mind about working behind the bar. I know, because Mackenzie's going to buy me a pint. Yeah, I thought you could do with one after spending the whole morning looking for jobs. Oh, good lad. How's it going? Kept making applications, but still no replies. Well, I'm not surprised after what you did. Excuse me. He's trying to make a fresh start, OK? Well, that's just words, isn't it? Got to start proving it. Make no around, just get you a drink. And hey, after you've had yours, maybe you can do your shift behind the bar, eh? No, thanks. So I can't unbow it, why don't you do it? Well, I would, but then you'd need to pay for the drinks, wouldn't you? You know I'm skin. If I knew being a barman was part of the deal, I'm not to come here. Well, you wouldn't be skin if you did the bar work, would you? You could afford to pay for your own rounds. Did you put them up to this? No, but it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, you'd be getting some work experience for your job application. Let's face it, it's probably the only offer you're going to get right now. And, hey, your mum's not been feeling too well, so help her out, yeah? Oh, what's the matter, Charity? Uh, nothing. Just, uh, probably a dodgy takeaway. You look fine to me. Noah! <laughs> I'm just gonna clarify some things. I'm getting sick of you whinging and moaning about not getting a job, but then not doing the job that's been handed to you on a plate. So what's gonna happen now, my boy, is you're gonna do the job behind the bar and I'm not gonna let you leave until you've done it. OK? Thank you. You OK? Yeah, fine. Just feeling a bit of a fraud, if I'm honest. I could quite easily go and relieve Noah from behind the bar for a bit. You're not going to. I told him he needs to finish his shift or he's got me to answer to. Being a bit tough on him. Yeah, I need to be. I'm looking after you. Yeah, I'd noticed. Right, so what's the problem? Well, you usually make being a thoughtless slob an art form. I can rely on you being unreliable. Thank you. Well, you're fussing round me at the moment. Next, you'll be bringing me wildflowers from some meadow and you'll be reciting disgustingly soppy poetry or something. <laughs> well, why is that bad? Because you don't normally behave like this, OK? 
And soon the secret's going to be out of the bag at this rate. I thought we weren't going to tell anyone till at least our 12-week scan. OK, fine, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just excited. I know, okay. OK, and that is really sweet, but I don't want anyone knowing yet. Well, it's going to be official soon, which means I can make all the fuss over you. Mm, don't think I'll be able mm -hmm. to stop you if I try. We could have a Neymar baby competition at the bar. I'm sorry, what? Any more baby competition? No, absolutely not. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> Good. No. What I will say, though, is that this kid is exactly what we needed. We just didn't know it until it happened. Tea? Mm. Cool. <laughs>